hi everyone welcome back to my channel so as you saw from the thumbnail and the title i'll be creating this beautiful makeup look for dusky and dark indian skin tones or brown skin tones it's a glam full coverage yet natural looking kind of a base makeup which i have explained in depth i really hope that you guys find this video useful and helpful so if you want to know how i created this makeup look on my dusky brown dark indian skin tone then please do continue watching and also it is using all affordable products To prep my skin, I'm using my Dermoco 5% Niacinamide Daily Face Serum which comes in a glass bottle like so with a glass dropper applicator. So I've just taken a few drops of that and applied it onto my face and blending and massaging it into my skin. This Niacinamide Serum helps in fading away all the acne marks and dark spots and also helps in evening out the skin tone. On top of that, I'm going to layer another serum which is the 5% Vitamin C Serum which comes in a very very similar packaging. The vitamin C serum really helps in lightening my pigmentation and also it's got antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties in it which ultimately helps in reducing dark spots and giving your skin a natural radiant effect. Dermaco is designed by dermatologists. You can use the coupon code that you see on the screen to get 20% off on Dermaco website. The link to purchase these products are given in the description box and all the Dermaco products are available on their website and also on Nykaa, Amazon and Flipkart. All Dermaco products are 100% fragrance free and every time you make a purchase, Dermaco will link your order to a child and help them educate along with Boomi. My absolute first step in creating any makeup look is filling in my eyebrows. For that, I'm going to take my Pack Eyebrow Kit Definer. So I'm going to pick up that really, really deep um, shade of brown from the palette and use the angled brush and spoolie that comes along with the uh, palette itself to fill in my eyebrows. I'm going to keep my eyebrows quite defined because that's how I like my eyebrows to look like. You can uh, fill in your eyebrows whichever way you like it to be. Once that is done, I'm just going to comb it through the spoolie just to make sure that the product is evenly distributed then I'm gonna take my K Beauty liquid concealer and this is in the shade 160 N which is a couple of shades lighter to my skin tone so I'm just gonna apply that as a um, eyeshadow base on my eyelids and also to clean up under the bottom area of my eyebrow like I usually do and then take my favorite pack 219 concealer blending brush to blend in the concealer in gentle dabbing motion Once that is done, I'm going to lay out a base for my smoky eye. So I'm going to take the Sugar Cosmetics um, Twist and Shout Kajal Pencil in a black shade and apply the Kajal very, very close to my upper lash line, just like a liner. But then I'm going to smudge it away anyway. So this doesn't have to be super, super neat. Just try to go as close to your lash line and that would do the job. Immediately, I'm going to take a pencil brush to smudge off the liner to give it a smoky effect. And also work one eye at a time so that the kajal doesn't set in place and so that you don't have a hard time in blending that kajal. So whatever I did on the other eye, I'm just repeating it here on the other eye. Then I'm going to pick up my Revolution Velvet Rose Reloaded Eyeshadow Palette which looks like this. Such beautiful colors for dusky and dark Indian skin tones. So I'm going to pick up that matte um, neutral brown kind of a color and taking that on a super nice big fluffy brush and just putting that on the crease of my eyes. So you will see that I'm working from the lighter shade of eyeshadow towards the darker shade. So then I'm going to take this um, beautiful rich cranberry-ish kind of a brown color on a tapered blending brush and putting that precisely on the crease and not as blown out as the previous color and making sure that the edges are well blended before I put in the other eyeshadow on the next step. Now I'm going to take a very 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 deep chocolatey brown kind of a brown eyeshadow. Again all these eyeshadows are matte and I'm going to take that on a flat 
um, eyeshadow brush and putting that on top of my eyelids on the empty space and just take it a little bit on the black kajal that you applied as well that creates a nice beautiful dimension in your smoky eye once i'm happy with the blending i'm gonna move on to the face to prime my skin i'm using the very very newly launched product from sugar cosmetics this, this is their metal matte priming balm which looks like this and comes with this um, sponge applicator so i'm just gonna take a little bit of that primer and put it on one side of my face first and here you will see a huge huge difference in how well this product has clearly mattified my skin do you see that mattified effect and the shiny side on the um, other side of my face and it's a really good primer it's a little expensive but it's a very very good mattifying primer doesn't dry out your skin as well so that's what i use and now as you can see i do have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my skin a lot of acne spots and under eye dark circles having pigmentation is quite normal when you have brown or dusky or deeper indian complexions so for that i'm gonna take my back rusty orange take cover concealer which is a beautiful rusty orangey kind of a color so works great on dusky skin tones so i'm just putting that on all of those hyper pigmented areas and then to blend it out i'm gonna take my damp beauty blender and just making sure that the concealer is nicely blended and that it doesn't look too harsh for foundation i'm taking one of my favorite affordable foundations which is the nika skin shield anti pollution foundation in the shade foxy chestnut again i'm choosing a matte foundation here um, this dries down to a completely matte finish so i'm working that on my buffing brush and then i'm gonna put it on the face starting from the center of my face i'm choosing a matte foundation because i have a lot of texture on my skin so i don't want anything to be emphasized uh, if I use a dewy foundation, it won't um, stay put for longer and it would kind of emphasize my um, texture. So this foundation is perfect because it is matte but not like a ripping, gripping kind of a matte um, foundation and this is such a beautiful finish on the skin. So here I'm just building the foundation um, wherever I want that extra bit of coverage because I do like a full coverage base whenever i do a smoky eye look and whatever is left on the brush i'm just running that on my neck as well as on the ear to make sure that there is no demarcation now i'm going to take the k beauty liquid concealer again in the shade 160 n and put that on the under eye on the center of my forehead the bridge of the nose the cupid's bow and my chin to bring a brightening and highlighting effect on my face so once that is applied i'm just going to use my concealer blending brush again to blend everything out and to cream contour, I'm using this beautiful affordable product from Dazzler. This is their stick foundation in the shade contour and I'm just swatching it here on the back of my hand and you can see how dark and intense this product is. So that's the reason this works amazingly well on duskier complexions. So instead of putting that directly on my face, I'm just working the product on my brush and then putting it on the hollows of my cheeks, on the perimeters of my forehead, on my jawline on the sides of the nose as well so this way the product will be evenly distributed on the areas where you want your contour and not look super super harsh and this color is such a beautiful color for dusky complexions like i mentioned once that is done i'm just gonna go over all of my base makeup in place um, using a damp beauty blender just to make sure that everything looks seamless and blended and if there is any extra product on my face the sponge is just gonna soak it away now to set my face, I'm taking my Renee Cosmetics Face Base Loose Powder. This is such a beautiful powder. Um, I think this is in the shade Coffee, which is a darker shade of loose powder. Again, it works amazing on dusky complexion. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that uh, loose powder on my damp beauty blender and put it right on the under eye just to lock in my concealer in place and basically baking my face, which helps in controlling your oil if you have an oily skin type. Also baking around the mouth area as well. While the powder is baking, I'm going to take the sugar twist and shout kajal again and lining my lower waterline and upper waterline, basically tight lining my eyes. And then I'm going to use the same kajal on my lower lash line in a thicker way because smoky eyes always looks amazing when you have nice defined and cold rimmed eyes. So that's what I created here. Now I'm going to take the same chocolatey brown matte eyeshadow on a pencil brush and try to smoke out my lower lash line gently and slowly, just mimicking whatever I created on my upper lash line to make my eye makeup look cohesive and 
beautiful and seamless. I'm just gonna dust off the excessive loose powder that was just baking on my under eyes and before applying mascara I'm gonna curl my lashes using my favorite elf eyelash curlers giving it at least 10 to 12 pumps just to make sure that my lashes are nicely curled and lifted up because I am ditching falsies for this look so just mascara is just gonna bring a lot of drama to the eyes. For mascara, I'm using my current favorite and fairly new launch in India, which is the L'Oreal Air Volume Mascara, which is such a beautiful, beautiful volumizing mascara. So I'm just going to add several coats of this mascara to my top and bottom eyelashes to create nice volume and drama, like I mentioned. This provides such good volume to your lashes, especially if you have scanty eyelashes. Try this. It's so good. It's kind of waterproof as well. It's like a tubing mascara. So when you rub it off, uh, when you wash your face, it just comes off beautifully. And I absolutely love the effect of this mascara. My lashes look amazing. Uh, now to set the rest of the face to and add a bit more coverage and to make my base makeup look extra flawless, I'm taking my K-Beauty Matte Compact Powder in the shade uh, 175Y or 180Y. I'll put the exact shade name in the description box. So I'm just using that on my entire face. This is a beautiful velvety matte compact powder and adds beautiful coverage as well. To bronze up my skin further, I'm going to take the Revolution Bake and Blot Powder in the shade Dark and just basically putting the powder wherever I use my cream contouring because the contour that I used was a little bit on the cool tone side. I like a little bit of a warmth on my face so that I do not look too dead. And warmer contour always looks great on brown skin tones. So yeah, that's why I'm just layering these products. And also your contour lasts pretty, pretty long. Then for blusher, I'm taking the um, K-Beauty Matte Blusher in the shade Soft Nude, which is absolutely one of my favorite, favorite blushes. Again, this is a matte finish. As you can see, it doesn't have any shimmer whatsoever because I do have a lot of texture on the cheeks. So if I apply anything shimmer, that's going to accentuate those uh, texture. I clearly went a little overboard with the blusher, but that's okay. I'm just trying to blend out the blusher here. And this is such a beautiful brush, brusher, blusher for dusky skin tones and goes with such kind of smoky and intense looks. I'm taking this gorgeous, gorgeous highlighter from Rimmel London. This is their um, highlight powder in the shade Afterglow, which is a beautiful subtle glow it doesn't have visible shimmer particles so the place where you apply your highlighter is in a c shape on the temple area and do not bring it to the inner cheek area where you have a lot of texture again that will emphasize all of your texture and pores and that's not a cute look at all so i'm just applying as little highlighter as possible on the tops of my cheekbones because i do have an oily skin type and this highlighter is so beautiful on the skin it literally looks like my skin is glowing from within it's that beautiful i'm also applying that to the bridge of the nose the uh, inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone area for lip liner i'm taking this uh, real love makeup revolutions lip liner in the shade wonder which is a deep chocolatey brown color again a deep chocolatey lip liner is a must have for dusky and dark indian skin tones so i'm just using that lip liner to overdraw my lips it looks absolutely stunning on duskier skin tones and literally goes with any lipstick shade that you wear for lipstick i'm taking my wet n wild um liquid lipstick in the shade this is in the shade give me mocha which is a very very popular liquid lipstick color it's a little bit drying so it is essential that you prep your lips properly so i'm just putting that all over the lips and it's a beautiful dusty rosy nude kind of a color for dusky skin tones and on top of that i'm gonna take my Rene cosmetics um, nice and nude lip gloss which is a beautiful pale nudie peach lip gloss so i'm just putting that on my um, center of the lips to add a bit more poutiness to my lips because I am a glossy kind of girl. I love glosses, especially with smoky eye looks. It looks amazing. Once that is done, it is time to set and lock your entire makeup in place. For that, I'm going to take my current favorite Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless um, Setting Spray. This is an amazing setting spray, especially if you have oily skin. It makes your makeup matte and your makeup basically stays on for really, really long and doesn't budge. And it's also kind of transfer proof and transfer resistant. 
so yeah check it out if you have oily skin it's amazing and here is my finished dark skin dusky skin brown skin makeup look whatever you want to call it this kind of makeup look flatters dusky skin the most because the tones that i have used in this uh, makeup look are brown and earthy tones so it flatters dusky skin tones and this is my makeup look using all affordable products as well on my hyper pigmented textured skin you can see it for yourself that how flawless my makeup has turned out do let me know if you liked watching this video and found it useful and helpful make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up comment and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more such videos hit the bell notification to get notified each time i upload a new video on my channel make sure to follow me on my instagram i'll put the link in the description box this is it take care of yourselves and i shall see you guys soon in my next one bye